Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my members. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Maynel Wakwitz, a college professor, I'm proud to have you. Thank you for your support. Ebu Salim, Jaffa Jafoni Koid. I hope I said it right. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button and members are given shout outs in my videos. All right, let's get started. In this video, we're going to be solving a puzzle. So this is a little different than the problems that we've been doing, but I think puzzles once in a while is a good thing for entertainment. Anyways, uh, this obviously involves some algebra, maybe a little bit of counting, so on and so forth. So it really involves a lot of good math. That's why I picked this problem. So the idea is the following. We have the odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, they're consecutive. One is the smallest. And they're arranged in such a way that we have one number in the top row and then the two numbers in the second one and the three numbers and the four numbers. So every row has one more number. So the question is, obviously there is a lot of questions that can be asked about this problem. So in other words, to keep a long story short, we can say, we can call this odd numbers arranged in an odd way. So two questions I'm going to be posing today, and obviously you can uh, make more. What is the first number in the 10th row? What is the first number in the 10th row? So let me go and write those questions real quick. What is the first number in the 10th row? That's going to be my first question. And my second question is going to be, what is the first number in the nth row? Be meaning that we're going to count 1 through n, that the last row is going to be the nth row. So obviously, questions number 1 and number 2 are related. And we can also ask, what is the last number? What's the number in the middle? So on and so forth. So let's take a look at this table or array or whatever you want to call this. There's arrangement of numbers. The top row only has one number. So basically, we only have one number here. We have two numbers in the second row. Two numbers. Two numbers. Forgot the S. One numbers. OK, great. Great English. One number. Oops. One number, two numbers. And then we have three numbers. And what am I getting at? So here's the idea and four numbers. If you are trying to find, let's say, the first number in the fourth row, think about this. Like you have 13. How many numbers are there before 13? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the million dollar question is, why are there six numbers before 13? And how can we find that number, right? That is going to be the question. So here's the idea. Since we're going to be looking at the 10th row, this is what I'm going to be thinking about. In the first nine rows, hopefully you took a good picture of this because I'm going to have to scroll down. In the first, in the first nine rows, how many numbers are there? Think about it. There are one in the first row, two in the second, three in the third, dot, 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 nine in the ninth row, right? This is going to be the total number of numbers in the first nine rows. So that's the critical part about solving this puzzle. And this sum is, as you know, a Gauss sum, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So it's going to be 9 times 10 divided by 2. And that is going to be 45. So in the first nine rows, there will be 45 numbers. What is that supposed to mean? I have nine rows, and let's say this is the 10th row. Since there are 45 numbers here, the first number in the 10th row is going to be the 46th odd number. Let's go ahead and write this down. 46th odd number. So the question is, what is the 46th odd number? How do you find the first odd number? The first odd number is one. Of course, I'm considering the positive odd numbers here. How do you find the first odd number? The formula is 2n minus 1. So if n is equal to 1, you get 2 times 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1. So 1 is going to be the first odd number. If n is equal to 2, you're going to get 3, which is the second odd number, so on and so forth. So to find the 46th odd number, I have to replace n with 46, because 2n minus 1 gives us the nth odd number. Get the idea? So let's replace n with 46. That gives us 2 times 46 minus 1. That is 92 minus 1, which is 91. Great. So what's that supposed to mean? The question was, what is the first number in the 10th row? And the answer is 91. Great. So that was easy, right?
Let's take a look at the second problem. The second question is, is a little harder because it's more general, so they want you to generalize the idea. So what is the first number in the nth row, right? So you're going to be thinking similarly. So the 10th row required us to look at the first nine rows. So now we're going to be looking at the first n minus 1 row. So similarly, similar to number 1, in the first, in the first n minus 1 rows, how many numbers are there going to be? 1 plus, 2 plus, dot, 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 n minus 1 numbers, right? And these are all going to be odd numbers. So let's go ahead and find this sum. Again, for the, to find the tenth, uh, the f find the first number in the tenth row, we look at the first nine rows. So to find the first number in the nth row, we're going to be looking at the first n minus one row. So all the rows before the nth row, how many numbers are there, right? So it's going to be given by this sum, and this is n minus one times n minus one plus one, which is n divided by two. That's going to give us the rank, not the number itself. So the idea is, how do you find this uh, nth number. So kind of like n minus 1 over n over tooth number, if that makes sense at all, right? This is the odd number we're looking for. n minus 1 times n over tooth odd number. So how do you find that? Formula is 2k minus 1. This one, this time I want to use 2k minus 1 because I'm going to replace um, k with this thing here. That's going to give us the rank. If you do, remember, for to find the uh, tenth, we replace n with 10, right? So here we're going to replace uh, k with this. So it's going to be like this. 2 times n minus 1 times n divided by 2 minus 1. The 2's are going to cancel out. n is going to be distributed. You're going to get n squared minus n minus 1. And that is going to be, that is going to be the number we are looking for. Make sense? So, but here's the idea. We forgot something here. Okay, we got to fix this now. This is not the number we're looking for because this shows us how many numbers are in the fir uh, first n minus 1 rows. So we have to add 1 to this, right? We have to add 1 to this because we're trying to find the next number. Remember, we did the same thing here. We, we find uh, that there are 45 numbers in the first 9 rows, and then we looked at the 46th odd number. So we're going to be looking at this plus 1th odd number. That is the number we're looking for. And to find that number, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the formula 2k minus 1, which gives us the kth odd number, right? Kth odd number. But this time, k is going to be this gigantic expression inside the brackets. So it's going to be like this. 2 times n minus 1 times n over 2 plus 1. Multiply this whole thing by 2, and then minus 1 from it. And let's go ahead and do it. We distribute to 2. 2 is going to cancel out. We're going to get n minus 1 times n. And then we're going to distribute to 2. 2 times 1 is 2, like this and like that. And then finally, minus 1. And if you simplify this, you're going to get n squared minus n plus 1. So this is going to give you the first number in the nth row. Let me tell you what this means from another perspective. For example, if you replace n with 10, you find the first number in the 10th row. Let's go ahead and do it. 1 10 squared minus 10 plus 1, 101 minus 10 is going to give us 91. And remember, for the first question, we found 91. The question was the first number in the 10th row. But by using this formula, this is really cool, you can even find the first number in the millionth row. Obviously, that's going to be a large number, but that you can find. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.